So I'm just out in the garden today, the first night today we've had since been a good couple of weeks. It's been raining on and off for, for ages, ages and ages, which can't complain because it fills the water butts up and it waters the garden for me, so that's fine. But um, yeah, I haven't been able to get out and do a lot. So I just wanted to talk you through one of the things that I'm doing that I kind of do need to go on and do because it looks, mess looks messy and it's not doing the garden any good either. Um, my pea plants, they've been broken in the wind. So they've come away from their supports, they've snapped off the base, so they're, they're obviously dying off. Um, and they just need, they need removing a little bit. So there's only a few of them, I've got other ones growing in the garden. But um, I wanna show you what I'm doing with them and why I'm doing it. See you in a bit. So I need to tackle these peas today. Um, they've suffered a little bit of wind damage, shall we say. They've, their stems are broken, um, they're starting to go over a little bit, but they have suffered a bit of damage. So I'm going to um, remove them today. I've got other peas growing in the garden, so it's fine. And I've got some more in the greenhouse ready to be planted out another day. <coughs> but today these will be going. <coughs> so although there are some good shoots still on them, the majority are broken off at the bottom, so they do need to come out. The good thing about peas with their um, nitrogen fixing nodules and their roots is that they will keep um, fixing the nitrogen into the soil after the plant has been removed. So if we cut the plants off at the base and we don't remove the root system, we can keep that um, nitrogen source in the soil and it will keep feeding the rest of the plants in the flower bed or the vegetable bed. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. So I'm just going to cut them off at the base. Remove them from their supports. There's still some peas on some of these we have to pick off. Remove them from their supports. And then they'll go in the compost. But I'm leaving the roots in the ground if they can, it's a shame these snap, they're a really good plant, but there we go, that is the power of nature. So I'll leave the roots in the ground obviously to keep the um, nitrogen fixing nodules in the ground ready to keep releasing the nitrogen, um, they will eventually like disperse, they will eventually wear out, So, but they will all go into the soil, condition the soil up, so I want to keep them there. As I say, the pea plants will boss down nicely, so that's fine. And then there's the root systems of the soil. So they're an all round good plant. Give it a good old wheat brand here now. Now they've gone. The wind we had recently really damaged a lot in the garden. So it's good to have a bit of a tidy up uh, and retrain everything. So if you've got pea plants growing, and they have had some damage from the wind, or you need to retrain them, um, or they're just going over. Don't rip them out completely from the roots. You leave the roots in the ground to let the roots keep fixing the nitrogen in to the soil to keep benefiting it. Okay, and they'll break down on their own in their own time, so they won't do any damage or anything to the soil. We won't have to dig them up later. They'll just break down on their own. But there's a lot of benefit to leaving the roots in the soil. So, a little tip for you there. Until he's been on in a while, they've well and truly attached themselves. There we go. They're all out. I'm going to take these off to the compost heap. So I hope you like that. It's a little bit of a natural benefit to the nitrogen nodules on a peas root system. So the pea plant can be completely composted naturally on its own. I've still got some peas to take off of that plant actually that are ripe and I can just I can eat myself. Um, but there are some older ones on there that are a bit um, fibrous, shall we say, fibrous. Um, so they'll be going in the compost heap. But the root system staying in the ground 
the nodules will keep releasing all that nitrogen well after the pea plant's gone and um, will naturally break down in the soil over time. So all the plants that are in like the courgettes and the lettuces and everything else in there that takes up the nitrogen um, will be quite appreciative of the um, nodules in the ground to leaving them behind rather than ripping them up with the plants. So as I say you don't need to worry about digging them up later they'll just compost down on their own. So I hope that's a good tip for you and it will help sort of feed your garden naturally if you like but yeah um, always remember that with anything pea related or bean related these are sort of leave the roots in the ground and they'll keep on with the nodules they'll keep on adding that nitrogen to the soil well after the plants died so there we go so I hope you enjoyed and um, like and subscribe if you like this tip and check out my other videos as well on the page and yeah if you enjoy it give us a thumbs up so I'll catch you later catch you in the next video